Hey, if you genuinely like the video at any point, consider dropping a like. And if you don't like the video at all, leave a dislike. The feedback really helps. What is up YouTube, it is Stevie and welcome back to another video. Now, I apologize in advance for my raspy voice. I've had a pretty bad cold over the past couple of days. Nothing too serious though, but that's besides the point. Our new story picks up right where the last one left off. Well, kind of. Larch and I had a really good past couple of days. So good, in fact, that some pissed off neighbors decided to offline raid us. That story came to an end, but then this one picks up. With most Rust servers resetting on a Thursday and it only being Saturday afternoon, there was no reason that I couldn't get a nice late start on a different server. So I joined the Stevius US server to see what I could do. And with nothing but my rock and my torch, I loaded into a completely unfamiliar yet already established island. Where and how everyone in Rust begins. As a naked, on the beach. All right. Oh, this is a pretty nice map. Where do I want to live? Maybe the sewer branch area, that's nice. Right near airfields, sats, train yard, maybe somewhere in between. Or, I don't know, if there are a lot of bases there, I might just make one in the woods L14 or the woods O14. We'll figure that out. I'm better than you, mate. So where did I want to build a base? Well, this area right here looked pretty good. It was close to the desert, so I had access to lots of nodes and other raw materials. It was in the forest, so I could easily sneak back to my base if I was confronted by a large group. Lastly, and most importantly, it was right beside Sewer Branch, so I would have the advantage during any fights that went down there. So now with the base down, it was time to get some guns and some gear. Four men not messing with that.
Gimme, gimme. Oh, they had a decent amount too. Metal hatchet. Let's not get greedy here. <sighs> Jeez. <laughs> not a bad run at all. I hate pushing near bases. It's the worst place to take a fight. Rip, dude. They completely cleared my body. What? I'm gonna bleed. No. Okay, I'm gonna make some large boxes. Maybe a level one actually first. Let's start with that. I'll take 16 arrows out with me. Put one revolver back. I want that python.
need to get rid of those star shots. <laughs> guys are crossy. I need to stock up on crossies. That was close. Oh, he's dead. Oh my god. My guy, I'm so sorry. Sometimes it just has to be like that. <sighs> I'm sad I don't have a double barrel. But we do have 522 scrap. Maybe like <laughs> 20 minutes, 30 minutes in starting. <laughs> Tops. Um, so let's make that level 2. Oh, it fits so snug. That's beautiful. Just run up here. We got our upstairs. Nice little cozy base. Now I'm gonna put the uh, the furnaces here. Or am I? Yeah, I am. Because there's gonna be an airlock out there eventually. Um, so right now it'll be a little risky using them because every time I go out, if someone kills me, they'll get my furnace loot. But eventually it won't be an issue because ideally, what I want is um, these bags, maybe like two bags here. And then all of this just large boxes on the ground and then up here just large boxes and then eventually we'll, we'll make the whole of this whole interior you see now metal and then we'll wrap in one layer of metal honeycombing and just have a nice even if we make a main base eventually i say we like maybe someone will join me this is obviously solo right now but i don't know i don't know how it's going to play out um, but if someone does join me and we make a main base this will still be a, a good backup base to have i guess you know so, yeah. Now with some guns and some gear, it was time to make a play, but that's not too easy when you're playing solo. So you can do one of two things. You can out-aim your opponents, or you can outplay your opponents. And although my aim isn't too shabby, I prefer a tactical approach when making plays. And Sewer Branch is one of the best places to do that. All the cover and differences in elevation really allow you to put your opponents in a spin cycle. So I made my way over there.
the door which you normally need a green keycard for was open, so there were people inside or they had just left. Right here, I started thinking pretty hard. The one advantage I had, the element of surprise, was now gone. There were two of them, and they were as geared, if not more geared, than I was, and they knew exactly where I was. So what other advantage could I give myself? In most first-person shooter games, if you play it smart, having the height advantage is pretty overpowered, and that's no different for Rust. So I climbed out of the tunnel systems and waited for them at the top of the ladder. But of course they weren't dumb enough to push me, so I fake ran away, or I actually did run away. But I was gonna keep the high ground and go to the top of the cliffs and sewer branch and look down on them. And sure enough, up the ladder they came, and with them now looking like fish in a fishbowl, I just let my aim do the rest of the work. Get up both. Ow. Oh! They're gonna come back. Oh my god. You think I could pull off recycling this? And then guys with guns came and killed me, and the action that ensued over the next 20 to 30 minutes was insane, and I know I've talked too much already, so I'm gonna let the fight, or the fights, play out. I'm just gonna try to go for it. Oh, this guy knows. I have to get down in there and all in my body before that guy gets to it. Oh my god. He went down, he went down, he went down. I gotta get there before he pulls the semi out and starts looking around. Did I headshot him? I just headshot him. He had to have blood out. He absolutely had to have blood out.
Did he? He bled out. Might not have pushed my body yet. Oh, he has. And the guy that had just killed me probably didn't know just how close I lived to Sewer Branch, so I lurked back to my body, picked up the SAR that he most definitely didn't loot, and tried to make one last play. Get out of here. So all the action that just happened took place in under two hours, and before I got off for a little bit to let things cool down, I upgraded the base. And although I had won the battle, this was just the start of a war. The action at Sewer Branch made it one of the most popular places for PvP throughout the rest of the wipe. PvP that brought enemies and raiding right outside my door. Make sure not to miss out on that in the next video.